Welcome back. It's another week here at Monster Motorsports Diecast Racing Network, home to the Pacific Rim Speedway. I am your host, Rubber Toe, and we are broadcasting atop the Yomatsu Harasakai Tower. And tonight is the DIRS Groups 3 and 4. And it's going to be an exciting one for the second round here on the Pacific Rim Speedway. And those of you joining us, whether you're watching the Rewind on YouTube or our Facebook live feed, thank you very much. Give us a like, comment below, subscribe or follow us. It is going to be a great race tonight. Let's see who is in the live chat here in the Facebook group. We got JT from Transport. We got Mark from Eminem Racing. Robert Wolf, what is up, man? We got Big Dave from We Race Diecast. Diego Roman, that's a new face I haven't seen yet. Uh, at least I don't remember, sorry. Uh, we got Dale from Commotion Diecast. Mike from RTR. Daddy G from G4 Diecast Racing. And Daryl from Bay City Diecast Racing. So. If you ever want to get a shout out and you only watch on YouTube and you have a Facebook account, head on over to Facebook and search Monster Motorsports Diecast Racing and join up because this is a hoot. All right. And the Diecast International Race Series continues tonight. Let's see if you are joining us for the very first time and don't know the rules. But they are very simple. All four cars make a group. They will rotate and take four laps, each rotating all four start positions. On the finish, you get five points for first, three points for second, two points for third, one point for fourth, and zero points for a DNF. Did not finish. And so, are we ready to meet group three? I don't know. I don't, I don't see enough... I don't, I don't see enough uh, tappy tappies of uh, thumbs up, of hearts. Oh, we got Glenn Harding. Glenn Harding's racing tonight. So I don't want to keep that man waiting because, you know, he's in, is he in group three or group four? I can't remember, Glenn. Which group are you in? All righty. Let's get this thing started with our driver introductions. First up in the number 51 Mustang Custom is Doc from Rigaroo Racing and We Race Diecast. Then number 47, there he is, Glenn Harding, driving the Chevy Impala from Glenn's Car Creations. That is that is one beautiful car, Glenn. And don't forget, we got Big Al in that iconic number 16, driving the Ford GT90. And Big Romy driving the number 60 Subaru Impreza STI from Rivera Racing. Here it is. Look at that stack right there. Here are the point standings coming into the Pacific Rim Speedway. Doc at 16, Glenn Harding at 13, Big Al at 4, Big Romy with 11. Now Big Al didn't have very good luck over on the crest in transport diecast round one, but mm, I got a good feeling about Big Al tonight because I mean that GT90, it's heavy and it's fast. That's all I'm saying. So, but you never know what's gonna happen here at the Pacific Rim Speedway. You could be eaten by monsters. You could be eaten by the track. Uh, you could be eaten by the other drivers. You could just be plain eaten, all right? So let's get on to lap one, we've got Doc and Glenn Harding in the front row, Big Romy and Big Al in the back row for lap one, and there they go. And they're off, Doc taking a lead around the sewer vent through Kickapoo Pass, whoa, where did Big Al go? Glenn Harding causing a bottleneck. Glenn Harding takes the win, Big Romy takes second. Where is Big Al and Doc? Doc disappeared somewhere on the track. Let's take out the drone footage. Oh, Big Al hits the gate of no return. But fortunately, he is rubber down 
And oh, there is Doc overturned in the start of Kaiju's lair right next to those Kaiju eggs. Oh, I hope that uh, they don't hatch on him right there. Let's check out the replay, see what happens to that Big Al first. Oh, he comes off the right side of the track, just gets that front tire off, which gets him stuck and hits the gate of no return. Wow. Wow, well, let's see Let's see it from the top and see how, how it all plays out here as they come down from the tower around the sewer vent. Big Al is second, cuts down hard on the inside, but it looks like he just cuts way too much in front of Glenn Harding. I guess he expected Glenn Harding to be there, and Glenn Harding just taps the brakes, and wow, Doc is upside down. Oh, Doc flips over in the helipad. What caused Doc to flip and roll? Let's look at it here. I, I don't know, he wasn't touched by another car. A track might have came out and bit him. So he's rolling down the hood on that middle straightaway. Oh, oh, look at Doc, he's about to hit that gate. Oh, and he pulls the nose in at the last second. Wow. I remember a race with a small truck that got taken out with gate five right there. But look at that. Glenn Harding's nose comes out, but it comes right back in at the last second. Big Romy is drafting right underneath, and that's how they finish up. Let's look at the standings after lap one, because double DNF for Big Allen Doc. Ouch, that allows Glenn Harding to move ahead in points, 18 to Doc, 16. But Big Romy took second right there behind Doc with the 14 points. And Big Al with four. Come on, Big Al. Don't let me down. I, I need you, Big Al. Let's, let's make it happen, all right? All right, here we go. Lap two, Big Romy and Doc on the front row. Big Al and Glenn Harding in the back row. And there they go. Whoa, what happened to Doc? Leave the parking brake on? What is going on there? Oh, Big Romy, what? What? Big, didn't Big Romy just crash? What in the world? We gotta, we gotta see the replay on that. Let's see the replay on it, because something happened. All right, coming from the top, I'm not sure what happened to Doc, but Big Romy and Glenn Harding take off, and Doc, Doc is just holding up Big Al, and Big Al, Big Al is just probably banging his steering wheel, swearing at Doc right now. But here goes Big Romy and Glenn Harding through Kickapoo Pass. Let's see what happens. Something happened. Oh, Big Romy flips. Wait a minute, he goes roof to roof? Wait a minute, did Big Romy just do a 360 barrel roll off of Glenn Harding's roof? No! No! He did! Big Romy, roof to roof on Glenn Harding. Let's see in super slow-mo. This is killing me. Hits the inside of the track, hops up, roof to roof with Glenn Harding, 360 degree spin, barrel rolls off the hood, keeps going straight, and still wins the lap! Oh my gosh, I'm going crazy here! I tell you what, there is a Lily the Dog barrel roll that was made famous in NAS Carnage, but right here, this is two maneuvers. This is a top spin roof to roof 360 with a barrel roll. I'm, I'm calling it right now. This is forever known as the Big Romy. You heard it here first on the Pacific Rim Speedway. Big, this is a Big Romy. You, you can't make this stuff up. Wow, Glenn Harding hits the brakes. Big Romy's like, I don't care. I'm going to win this thing. He is a speed racer acrobatic wonder. Big Romy. So, you see Glenn Harding hits the brakes right there. There goes Doc. Flies right by. Actually catches up. Big Al tries to pass Glenn Harding. But I don't think he was able to get past him there for the finish but wow doc just doc was not giving up even though he was held back for whatever reason here's finish big Romy in first doc in second oh glenn harding you almost took out the fish and chip stand 
Come on, man, we love our fish and chips here. That was a close one. That could have been disastrous for fish and chips. Wow, wow. Lap two, oh my gosh, my mind is still blown. So after two laps, you got Glenn Harding at 20 and both Doc and Big Romy at 19 and Big Al at five. Big Romy, I will make you infamous. This, that maneuver was just amazing, hands down. Wow. All right, finally, we got Big Al on the front row, Big Romy on the front row. Both big, big names, big cars. Here they go. Come on, Big Al. I know you got it in you. Big Al taking the lead, and they are all bunched up, but they are so close. Big Romy trying to challenge, and Big Al takes the win. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That was a close, close finish. Let's see it again. Big Al, Big Romy, Doc, and Glenn Harding all bunched up. That's racing right there. That's keeping it tight. Wow, way to go, Big Al. Let's check it out from the top, from the replay. Here they come down from the watchtower around the super vent, super vent, sewer vent. Big Al takes the lead going into Kickapoo Pass, and Doc and Big Romy fighting coming out of Kickapoo Pass right there. And Big Al holding on. Oh, Doc tried to pass, it looked like. Doc tried to pass Big Romy on that helipad turn. You can see it right here. Doc tries to go high. Big Romy blocks. Glenn Harding tries to go low. Not happening, but <clears throat> here's a better angle. Yep, Big Romy blocks. Glenn Harding tries to go low. But nope, Big Romy not letting them pass. Big Romy shutting the door on helipad. Oh, Big Al gets a little squirrely. That must be that kaiju blue kaiju poop, which allows Big Romy to catch up, kiss the bumper. But Big Ro oh, Big Romy spins around, crosses the finish line in reverse. I thought Big Romy was going to take Big Al right there, but Big Al able to stay in front. And fortunately, Big Romy does a 360, but does not allow Doc to take second. Here we go. Look at that. Wow. Bumper to bumper going around Kaiju's lair. And here they are. After three. Wow, look at the score. Big Romy with 22. Doc and Glenn Harding tied at 21 for the series. And Big Al with 10. Big Al, you got to stay in it, man. You got to win it. You're sitting there on the front row with Glenn Harding. You got to come back with another first place finish. You know, if you want to catch up here when you move on to RTR next month. All right. We got Big Al, Glenn Hardy on the front row, Big Romy and Doc on the back row for the final lap of group three. And here they go. And Big Big Al and Glenn fighting. Big Al gets in the front. Big Al gets in. Oh, here comes Glenn Hardy. Is he going to pass? Big Al with the win. And Big Romy crosses the finish line on his roof. I love it. Big Romy just loves being on his roof. That's what I'm talking about. Look at this fight between Glenn Harding and Big Al. Side by side. Wait, do both rows go too wide through Kickapoo? There goes the first row. There goes the second row. Yes. But Big Al squeaks out in front after Kickapoo pass. Look at this. Double wide. These drivers are not afraid to go too wide around the turns. Look at that. Big Romy passes Doc at the last second. And, oh, Big Al getting a little showboat air, but it allows Big, it allows Glenn Harding to catch up. But Glenn Harding just can't get around. Oh, that's where Big Romy spins around. Doc spins him around on the straight. I swear, there, there must be some Kaiju Blue still out on that middle straightaway there. And here they come. <clears throat> Big Romy going in reverse, but Doc unable to pass wait is that the big where did big Romy flip uh big Romy rolled right before gate six he is so lucky he didn't gate six because doc might have passed him and look at that big Romy I, he races better on his roof that's all I'm saying he just races better on his roof that was amazing ladies and gentlemen let us see the final results for 
Group three, there it, it, wow! Glenn Harding and Big Romy are tied. 24 points a piece in the series. Doc with 22, Big Al coming back in laps three and four to bring up 15 points for the series. And let's see, no, none of their times were fast enough. They all had about 10 or 11 second finish times. None of them were sub 10 seconds. So the Pacific Rim track record is still intact after group three. All right. Are you folks ready for group four? Because, wow, pulling a big Romy, if you can pull a big Romy while you're driving, that is amazing. I tell you what, that will go down in history right there. Let's see who the drivers are for group four. We've got the number 80, Nick Devers, driving the 92 Ford Mustang from Nick Devers Racing. Wow, big name right there with NDR. <gasps> Fractal Panda! Fractal Panda driving the number eight, Roger Dodger. Woo! Fractal Panda makes me hot. Love him. And Todd Owen from Todd's Tofu driving the number 33, Renault Sport RS. And rounding out group four, Chips McGee from Live Young. Die cast. Number 22, Chevelle. There they are, ladies and gentlemen. Now, these drivers did not fare a good showing at Transport Diecast Racing. You can see there with their points coming into the Pacific Rim Speedway. However, you've got Nick Devers and Fra Fractal Panda who are amazing car builders. Not saying that Todd Owen and Chips McGee can build a car. They can but Fractal Panda and NDR is where it's at right here. I've been looking forward all week to see Nick Devers and Fractal Panda go head to head, but you never what's going to you never know what's going to happen here at the rim. Let's get up to the start gate, shall we? There we go with Nick Devers, Fractal Panda on the front row, Todd Owen and Chips McGee on the back row for lap 1 group four and there they go oh nick deaver's in the lead nick deaver's in the lead followed by Tato, and there goes nick deaver oh nick deaver spins on the kaiju blue oh is he able to hold on to the finish wait a minute that was just that was just nick deaver's in one other car where are the other two cars oh the drones show us todd owen and chips mcgee pulled off in kaiju's you know with all this action going on in kaiju's lair I would not be surprised if an egg or two or three or six start hatching. That's a lot of activity down there. But it looks like Todd Owen is okay. They're going to get his car back up on the tow truck and back up top. Looks like Chip McGee just pulled off to the side. Not sure why, but let's check out the replay to see what happens. Here it goes from the top. Coming down from the watchtower, Nick Devers punches it. Takes a great lead into Kickapoo Pass. Here comes Fractal Panda, blocked by Todd Owen. Nice block, Todd Owen. And there he goes. Nick Devers is flooring it. But, oh, hits that Kaiju Blue, that Kaiju Poo. Spins him around. You know what? I don't think Nick hit the Kaiju Blue. I actually think Nick Devers sees nobody in his rear view and says, I'm just going to spin around and watch you yahoos as I cross the finish line in reverse. That's what I'm thinking. That's the kind of thing Nick Devers is thinking about. That's right. So here they go. Here's where you can see Nick Devers spin around as he enters the middle straightaway. Oh my God, what just happened? That is that what happened to Todd Owen? Is that why Todd Owen was on his roof? Whoa! Todd Owen is so lucky he didn't fall off that retaining wall like Mary Death did last week. Wow. We got to see that again in slow-mo. Right there. Whoa, that's how... Man, Fractal Panda just goes right under. Chips McGee slams and T-bones Todd Owen. That was crazy. 
And the finish, oh, Nick Devers holds on for the win. Fractal Panda for second place. There it is, right there. So, man, if Nick, if, there, if that finish line was about another few meters down the track, Fractal Panda could have taken that. So, another double DNF in lap one. Todd Owen, you are one lucky driver that you did not go over that retaining wall. So, we got Nick Devers with 13, Fractal Panda with 9, and Todd Owen at 6, and Chips McGee at Four, gaining no points in that last lap. And we've got Nick Devers on the front row, Chips McGee joining him, and Todd Owen and Fractal Panda in the back row for lap two, and there they go. Oh, there goes there goes Nick, pushing it again on the inside of Kickaboo. There goes Nick, Chips gets sideways, Nick takes the win again. And only three cars cross the finish line. Another car did not finish, oh no. No, Fractal Panda. No. You let me down, Fractal. Come on. No. All right, we got to see what happens here. Because you got Chips McGee and Fractal Panda on that inside lane. But Nick Devers pushes it around the sewer vent, passes on the inside, passes Chips McGee on the inside and just continues to floor it around the helipad. Here they come around. Chips McGee gets a little sideways. Fractal Panda trying to push on him. And, oh, Chips McGee just slams the door right there in Kaiju's lair. And I think, I think that's what caused Fractal Panda to swerve off the inside of the track. Look at that right there. A little more Kaiju blue slippery action. And, oh, did Todd Owen pass on the high side right here? He did! Todd Owen passes those two on the outside, pushes Fractal Panda to the infield of Kaiju's Lair right there. Let's see that beautiful pass by Todd Owen right there. Todd Owen sees the gap, does not let his foot off the gas. Wow. I tell you what, healthy drivers that eat tofu drive well. That's all I'm saying right there. There's perfect example. Todd Owen, or I'm sorry, Nick Devers takes first. Todd Owen takes second. Chips McGee takes third. All right. At the start, after two laps. Wow. Fractal Panda, you needed some points there. So you got Nick Devers with 18 with two back-to-back -back wins. And Todd Owen and Fractal Panda tied at nine. But don't count out Chips McGee is at six. Now, wait a minute. Do y'all see this too? Right here. Look up there. <clears throat> Do y'all see that? NDR has won two races. Do you think NDR is going to sweep the win in all four races? Because right now, the current single track record holder is Mike Mays with 17 points. I mean, it could happen. It could happen tonight that Nick Devers sweeps first place. What are you talking about? I'm not jinxing it. Y'all be quiet in the chat. It ain't happening. All right. You got Todd Owen in the front row. Chips McGee joining him. And in the back row, Fractal Panda and Nick Devers. The back row ain't going to stop Nick. I tell you what. There goes Todd Owen and Nick Devers. Lean it. Oh, no. Nick Devers flipped over. Todd Owen takes the win, followed by Chips McGee and Fractal Panda. No. Come on, Nick. Why? Why? Oh, there he is. Oh no. Oh Nick, why'd you do it? Why'd you you had the you had the you had the win. You you had it. You had it right there, Nick. Let's see it from the top. Here they come down from the watchtower. Nick Devers right on the bumper of that Renault going into Kickapoo. Nick tries to pass low, cuts it too hard and flips over. Woo, Nick is so lucky he did not hit the gate of no return. But I tell you what, Fractal Panda and Chips McGee, they have got some great spotters because the drivers, they can have spotters placed anywhere around the track just, just as long as they don't get eaten by monsters. And those spotters for Fractal Panda and Chips McGee, 
made their money tonight because there goes Nick flips over and Chips McGee and Fractal Panda hold the high line to pass him around the helipad. I don't even think they touched him. <clears throat> we can see here from a different angle. Uh, no, I don't think they touch him at all. Look at that. Clean pass around the helipad. Man, Nick, you got you got a little greedy. Tried to pass, tried to cut it too hard to the inside under Kickapoo, and it cost you. Look at that lead by Todd Owen going around Kaiju's lair. There was just no catching up. There it is. Todd Owen takes first, followed by Chips McGee and then Fractal Panda for third. Let's see the score tally after three laps. Nick Deaver still with 18. Todd Owen knocking on the door with 14. Fractal Panda with 11 points and Chips McGee for a total of nine points for the series. And you know what I forgot to mention? I forgot to mention this wonderful t-shirt sponsor, Flat Rabbit Racing. That's what I'm talking about. Man, have you seen the improvement, track improvements that Flat Rabbit has made? If you haven't, go check out their channel. It's pretty rad. I'm looking, looking forward to it. So going into the last lap, can Nick Devers redeem himself from the back row with Chips McGee and Fractal Panda and Todd Owen on the front row? Lap four, group four, here we go as they take off. That's what I'm talking about. And, oh, they're pushing through Kickaboo. Fractal Panda takes the lead, followed by Todd Owen. Fractal Panda gets sideways. Oh, my gosh. Did Nick Devers come, and, come back and win that? Or was it Fractal Panda? Oh, my gosh. We got to see the replay. And, oh, that's very close. Oh, that's so close. We got we to gotta zoom in here and freeze frame this. Fractal Panda beats Nick Devers in reverse by a bumper. Wow. That was exciting. Look you here. Fractal Panda got the inside lane around the sewer vent. Heading around. Takes the lead over Kickapoo. Todd Owen slips in front of the... Ooh. Nick Devers, did he get up on the high side on the back back straightaway there? Did his tire almost go off right under? Yes, it did. Right under the Live Young diecast sign. Woo, Nick, you are lucky you didn't go off the back of that cliff because, honestly, I, I, I don't know what's back there. I don't know if we would have been able to get to you. I mean, I know there's a tunnel under Kickapoo Pass that goes back there. But I don't know if there's a lake or there's a pond or, or what, but you are lucky. Fractal Panda gets loose on the Kaiju Blue straightaway, and here comes Nick Devers, passes Todd Owen, looks at his shot, and right there at the finish. Wow, Fractal Panda still able to take the win going in reverse, but that was an amazing pass. Nick Devers underneath through Kaiju's lair to pass Todd Owen. Let's see it again. Right, right there. Todd Owen gets bumped by Fractal Panda in the bumper. Or Todd Owen bumps Fractal Panda. But wow. What an amazing finish right there. Wow. That was super, super close. Let's see what... The final results for group four are, there it is. Wow. You got Nick Devers going into round three at RTR with 21 points for the series. Fractal Panda and Todd Owen with a total of 16 points. And Chips McGee with a total of 10. Chips, you, you got... You, you were Sunday driving out there, man. I don't know what was going on, but you got to figure something out because RTR, Maze Mountain Motor Speedway, is ruthless. You cannot be slow. You got to push it. I'm telling you right there. And let's see if any of those times broke the lap record. And no, it looks like it did not. No one got a sub 10 second time. Tell you what, the group of death, group number one, they're holding on to that lap record 
which is by far an amazing feat to have that lap record touched three times in the same group here the DIRS well ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for joining us this evening and if you are looking for races to enter uh, how to build a track how to build a better custom car check over at redlinederby.com and if you are looking to buy your next diecast purchase and you live here in Colorado head on over to the largest diecast shop in Colorado known as Colorado diecast well thank you very much if you enjoyed this give us a like subscribe and follow put a comment below we still got two more weeks here at the rim with the diecast international race series for groups next week is groups five and six and then after that seven and eight and then after that is the classic car or classic muscle car masters mail-in tournament but wow so much has happened last week and this week from the DRR, DIRS you don't want to miss the next two weeks thank you for joining us here at Monster Motorsports Diecast Racing Network home to the Pacific Rim Speedway I am your host and lead driver Rubber Toe wishing everyone a safe wonderful evening and remember keep your wheels on the road <laughs>